So welcome to a simple yet very exciting project where we built a robotic claw or arm or whatever you want to call it. So there's a couple of things and, and this is quite simple. I, I believe it's probably one of the simplest uh, yet exciting. So there's a couple of things you need to print. Um, these little arms over here, you'll notice that um, a lot of these, uh, they'll come in two forms. This one basically has one, two, three holes. Uh, so print a lot of those. You'll then need um, ones that actually another variation that just has uh, two. So this has two, this has three. Um, you're also going to need lots of um, uh, sort of uh, these nuts and bolts. Uh, these are about, um, let's just measure again, 25, I'm expecting, yeah, well, 24.7, they're about. Um, you're also going to need about, just for the one claw, you're also going to need about two that are slightly small-ish, about 20 millimeters. I don't see those here, oh, there we go. Yeah, these are about uh, slightly smaller, about... 20 millimeters perfect right so let's give it a shot let's see um, how you actually go about building this um, and obviously uh, the claw itself it comes in two variations a plain one uh, and this one uh, has you know a number of holes and uh, you know we're gonna it doesn't matter which one you you choose uh, we're gonna pick this one um, the bottom piece Bottom piece, um, as you might have guessed, comes in two forms as well. Uh, this is more the square-ish form, and this is more the circular uh, kind of form. And, and again, it's um, functionally actually exactly the same. I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about which one you choose, but you know, all should be available. Let's kick it off. So uh, the first part you want to build is essentially um, attach this claw over here um, and how you do that is you pick one of these with the three holes this one plugs in actually the it's the inner one and you'll see as we build why that's actually critical the ones with just the two holes uh, is more the outer ones and then you do the same on the other end and obviously armed with your 24 um, centimeter or millimeter nuts and bolts you push it all the way through and you put your nuts on the other side so let's go ahead and do that so once you've done that you'll see that your arm or your claw will start taking a uh, shape like this so make sure that these are not too tight enough because you want this to be able to move freely i see mine's not as freely moving as I'd like it to be. Oh, there we go, now it's starting to, to move freely. And obviously just put a little bit of glue here just to make sure that um, it doesn't lose in or get too tight once you've determined your position. What we then need to do is grab hold of these shoulders. These shoulders we will plug in firmly over here, just in between, and then we do the same over here. Let's do that. There's our claw taking shape very nicely. So you would have basically joined this um, and that. Obviously this is your shoulder, this is your claw. Um, and this claw will bite in this particular fashion once it's all connected together. There's a particular, particular significance um, basically with these inner ones because there's a little muscle that will keep pushing this claw up and down hence these need to be on the inner uh, another point to push across is these are slightly longer than these and what that does is the effect is this claw kind of looks more towards that direction instead of flat so it bites uh, uh, over here and obviously you'll notice that it's got sort of those teeth that it uses to bite. So what we're going to do next is, if you notice, there's a bunch of um, uh, screws that you can push on here. And essentially, 
this is where you introduce this guy over here. This guy over here is where you actually um, attach this particular arm. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Right, so we've managed to attach this little base. Um, so there's the upper one and the lower one, by the way. If you have a look at uh, these, they're slightly different. This one has just got a hole in the middle, right? And this one has one sort of rectangular hole and a circle. How this will come into being is introducing these sort of tough, very, very powerful motors. This little hole here basically mirrors these and they'll come through over here. And the one particular one, when we get to it, the one particular one you're going to be using will have a threaded sort of screw coming through here and it's going to be responsible for driving your arm or your claw up and down. But that's the significance of that. Obviously the bottom piece, this one will just slide nicely and it's actually designed fitted into this it fits tightly without movement and it will give you the additional power and stability as it drives that threaded screw up and down and just to end this particular episode there is a complete sort of two claw robotic uh, i just want to make sure that we understand what's going on there Remember what I said? I said these are a little bit longer than those so that it creates that effect of the front piece joining and you can press it hard for the maximum bite. But the front piece has to join first. That's the first point to note. The last point to note is notice these little guys. So essentially I can get another claw mounted on here I can get another claw mounted on here so you get all four claws if you want or you can just um, stick with the two for now thanks for watching thus far